Hey everybody, Sensei Wes here. I just want to do a quick video because I know there's been some questions on testing, why we test, uh, what we're doing, and how do we earn our stripes. So there are, for a beginner student that is white belt, orange belt, or yellow belt, you have to have four total stripes to test. You have to have a technique stripe, a form stripe, a self-defense stripe, stranger danger and bully self-defense stripe, for the uh, kids and uh, adult self-defense for the adults and then there's a parent stripe which uh, hopefully everyone's learned what that is but just in case you don't know that's where you set a goal uh, two weeks before the test that's non-martial arts related and you use that to uh, mark how they're doing with our character development life skills portion of the training and if they pass to the parent standard then uh, we issue the parent stripe, and really the parent uh, issues the parent stripe. Now, we have an eight week testing cycle. Now that doesn't mean you're gonna test every eight weeks. It's based on performance. If you're capable and ready to test on the uh, material you need to know for the test, then we invite you to test, and that's all it is, an invitation. If you don't feel ready, if, uh, you know, if for any reason you don't wanna test, it's not mandatory that you test. I just want everyone to know that. So your very first stripe is your technique stripe, and that is during week three, okay? Uh, the reason uh, the technique stripe is uh, for, I'm sorry, the, what the technique stripe is for is to watch how your stances are coming along, how your uh, punches, the angles of your wrists, uh, your kicks, are, is your knee chambered, are you, do you know the four parts of the kicks? Uh, are you uh, executing your techniques properly? Uh, you know foot placement and all that uh, so that is what the technique stripe is and that is the very first stripe that's why the first two weeks we really hone in on our kicks and blocks you should see a lot of us uh, a lot of the instructors or all the instructors doing kicks and blocks incorporating that somehow into class uh, stripe two is the uh, forms stripe and that is where they do their, their, their form with the instructor and if they're, they, they don't have to memorize the form. We don't ask for memorization uh, anymore, except for at black belt rank. Uh, specifically for you, and the reason we don't is because we want the, 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 the mechanics of putting moves together and having combinations uh, to work for the student. Uh, so the week, the, that is in week five. That is for testing strike two. So all of week five, no matter what class you come to, you should be testing for the uh, form stripe. Uh, the next is the self-defense stripe. That is during week seven. That is one week prior to the uh, testing date, week seven. So, the, uh, so what that is, is for the self-defense, that's for the uh, kids. For the kids, sorry, I have a parent here uh, for summer camp. Uh, for the kids, it's... Uh, your stranger danger and your bully self-defense. And as we progress, they, they get a little bit more difficult. We expect more out of the student, uh, how they project, how well they re, uh, get out of the hold, how quickly they respond. Uh, so those are the things we're looking for when we do our stranger danger and bully self-defense. Now our adult program, we use uh, techniques from Judo, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, Krav Maga, Ishogai Jiu Jitsu, as well as Taekwondo. Uh, to incorporate self-defense from either grips or uh, prior to being grabbed, uh, awareness, and those techniques, and that's what the t uh, the adults are tested on. I mean, every testing cycle, you get three to four techniques that we work on uh, throughout that testing cycle for you to earn your self-defense stripe. Now, if you are a camel belt or above, we add a sparring stripe. Uh, what that means is you have to come to two sparring classes a, a, a month, sorry, eight total, eight sparring classes, and uh, if, you, if you participate, have fun, and learn, you will get your sparring stripe uh, once you achieve that goal. So again, there's five stripes uh, that occur. Week three is the first stripe, week five is the second stripe, and week seven is stripe three and four. If you're an advanced student, you have to have your sparring stripe and parent stripe. Uh, if there's any more questions about stripes, please, please, please get with us. 
Uh, I don't want it to, there to be any confusion about what we're doing or how we're doing it because uh, we want to make sure we're providing the best martial arts training, service, life skills, and uh, character development that we can. Anyway, this has been Sensei Wes, and I hope you, uh, this video helped.